Vikings and The Last Kingdom are both set roughly during the same time period. Both have done a great job in portraying the Vikings era, and both include some fantasy-based storyline. However, there's gotta be some similarities and differences. Welcome to The Vikings Code, and in today's video, we will be discussing the historical similarities and differences between The Last Kingdom and Vikings. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and let's get started. Two key characters appear in both shows. King Alfred the Great, a real-life English king who successfully resisted multiple Viking raids on the Saxon side. David Dawson portrays him in The Last Kingdom, and in Vikings, he has been played by Ferdia Walsh Pilo. Then there's Uba, played by Rune Tempt on The Last Kingdom, and Jordan Patrick Smith on Vikings. In the 860s, he was among the leaders who led the Great Heathen Army in an invasion of England. The shows use these characters in quite different ways. Take for example Uba, a ruthless raider in The Last Kingdom. His name is altered to Ube on Vikings, and he is shown as a compassionate hero. That's probably because The Last Kingdom primarily focuses on the Saxon side of history, whereas Vikings focuses on... Well, you know, you guessed, the Vikings side, Ragnar Lothbrok and his sons. King Alfred is a full-grown man in The Last Kingdom, although he spent most of his time on Vikings as a boy and has lately developed into a young man. The historical Viking attack on Lindisfarne is included in both shows. Ragnar Lothbrok, Travis Fimmel, the main character of Vikings, organizes a raid with a force from Kattegat. It greatly enhances his fame, and he goes on to become Norway's most renowned king. Meanwhile, in The Last Kingdom, the attack results in the capture of young Saxon Utred of Bebenburg, who is reared as a Viking by Jarl Ragnar, who is not to be confused with Ragnar Lothbrok. The name Ragnar was just a super common name among Vikings at the time. Right away, there's something odd about this. The attack on Lindisfarne took place in 793, but King Alfred wasn't born until 848 or 849. Because of its historical significance, the raid is most likely used as a starting point for both series. It is regarded as the beginning of the Viking Age, which is what both episodes are about. And the time traveling doesn't end there. On The Last Kingdom, once Utred is kidnapped, the story jumps ahead a few years and picks up with him reluctantly swearing fealty to King Alfred. The Battle of Eddington, a significant Saxon victory over Viking invaders, concludes the first season. Almost the whole story of Vikings takes place during that time jump. Ragnar rises to fame, fathers sons, and dies in King Aile's snake pit. That makes sense. Ragnar was essential to Viking history, but not so much to Saxon history. Thus, Vikings would focus on him, while the Last Kingdom would gloss over his saga. So that's it for today's video. There are lots of other similarities and differences in these two shows, but that's up for some other time. If you have any thoughts, please let us know in the comments section. Stay tuned with us, and we'll see you in the next one.